Hi, I'm Steve Martin. I'm a captain in the Commission Corps of the United States Public Health Service and also a research engineer in the Field Studies branch of the NIOSH Respiratory Health Division. I'm also the lead investigator, investigator on a research effort looking into ways to use ultraviolet or UV energy to better prepare and respond to disease pandemics. At appropriate doses, UV energy is capable of inactivating harmful viruses, bacteria, and fungi so they're no longer capable of causing disease. So ultraviolet energy can play a critical role in protecting healthcare workers, first responders, and patients during a pandemic event. During the disease pandemic, ambulances will be used to transport the sickest of patients while they're symptomatic and likely at their most infectious. The small confines of an ambulance module have the potential for surface contamination at higher concentrations than are typical in a hospital environment. Uh, manual surface cleaning is the primary method for ambulance decontamination, but this cleaning method is difficult, it's tedious and time consuming for the staff involved, and it would be even more problematic during a pandemic event. Because of this, the rapid and effective decontamination of ambulance surface modules has been identified by CDC as a research priority. Um, research has shown that UV systems uh, are an effective adjunct to typical cleaning methods for the terminal disinfection of hospital patient rooms. And with modifications, UV systems can probably be used to disinfect ambulance modules as well. We have two ambulances that we're working with. And when it comes to UV energy, increasing surface reflectivity really helps get the UV energy to hard to reach or shaded areas. So we've worked hard to increase reflectivity in our ambulance modules to the extent possible. And then in the first ambulance, we've installed a portable UV tripod system that can be used to disinfect any stationary unoccupied ambulance. In the second ambulance, we've installed a permanent UV fixture package that can be used to disinfect an unoccupied ambulance, even as the ambulance is driving down the road to its next call. We need to continue working to refine our UV systems and to develop science-based protocols for their use. More microorganism testing needs to be done so we really understand how well the systems work and what their limitations might be. We're also trying to develop a mobile programmable UV robot that can be more easily tailored to different ambulance modules. Um, when our research is completed, we then need to focus on disseminating our information to the right people so additional research can be done and UV technologies can be implemented into disease pandemic planning.